All right, guys, I'm back. A little bit of a snack, at least for now. I'm still kind of disappointed at, like, how little there was in that. Wait, no, I'm going this way. Well, it's no boulders gift. At least it's some kind of civilization. I do miss the gate, though. The Elf Song Tavern, sunset over Grey Harbor, fried fish at the docks. Drunk young patriarchs naked in the fountains. Oh, civilization. Running strange riders in these parts. Goblins. I can smell trouble ahead. My fellow citizens, um. I print and post multiple copies of this notice in the region at no small expense to myself because I feel growing concern and alarm at the presence of strange riders in these parts of late. Many of you have seen them tramping through our forests and towns under the guise of a patrol. They claim they are guardians sent from Elturel to protect the borders of the great and holy nation of Elturgard. Don't be fooled by shining armor or handsome mounts. I've never bent knee to any Elturgard. And I never asked any metal jester to come peering over my garden fence. As you all know, I'm descended direct from the original Selenite settlers along these banks, and I have a half-elven great-uncle who will swear to it. We're peaceable folks, and we get on with the druids well enough. But I pay no fealty or tax to any far-off city I can't even find on a map. I took no small pleasure in telling these thugs just that. And I urge you to do the same. They call themselves Hell Riders. I call them interlopers, and they can bugger off to the hells, them and their city both. There's a journal over here, too. The pupil surpasses a teacher. My master weapons are almost complete. There's just one component left. Damson says the designs are a failure, but he, what's he know? He can barely see past his own belly. I sash the prototype- <coughs> The prototypes and blueprints for now. But just you wait, Samson. Your legend is fading, and a new one will rise in its place. This setting doesn't change for some reason. There we go. Or it doesn't save for some reason. A key over here. Carefully. I see what that is. Oh wait, that wait.
Key's uh, bow is expertly shaped into the letter S. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> I love that's a thing you can do in this one. To the death. What? How? Is there like a hole there? Okay, there is a small hole there. That's interesting. I didn't know that that would be a, end up being a thing. Time to press ahead. Oh, there's one across on the roof there. I'm through a hole in the roof. That is actually really fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty damn cool. There was another one down here somewhere. Oh, right there. Another day, another fight. It's okay. Did you have a good nap? I like a good hour and a half. That was a lot of damage, holy crap. It took up a spell slot, but jeez. That did a lot of damage. No time to wait. 
Beast. Another dice roll in my favor. Won't know what hit. Oh! <laughs> Oh yes, he's going down. I'm gonna be able to hit like I mean, Asterion's gone down, but it should be a lot easier to hit him now. Oh shit, there's another? Put that one's down now. I'm gonna get him up. We'll probably rest shortly after this anyways. Oh shit, I can't. The dance macabre. Never a dull moment. Let's get out of the fire, everybody. Hells, I need to hold on. <sighs> oh, level up, level up. That might heal me. Quick, quick. Before we die again. <laughs> Trips. Um, probably do guidance. Mm -hmm. I want to change my spell. That's the big one. What is this? This looks like fire. 
Okay, it's spikes. Um. Oh, that could be good though. Do I want that instead of? Um, maybe the bark skin. Or actually, maybe the ice knife. I should keep this though, because this is a level one spell. We'll keep the oh, I get a feat. Okay, we're gonna have to actually look at these. Okay, what is magic initiate druid? Let's look at this. You learn two cantrips and a level one spell from the druid spell list. You can cast a level one spell once per long rest. Their spell casting ability for all three spells is wisdom. This would be cool. But... I think I might do this. This speed can be cast once per long rest. You know what? I might change it though. What if I take that off? And then... I'm gonna pick the good berry. That way I can make healing berries and I can give everybody one. So everybody will have a healing spell, like a healing ability. Every long rest will have at least one healing potion, essentially. Uh, 
let's see. That'd be good. I'm trying to decide what I want to get get for him. He's not going to be in melee range very often. I'm going to get this, because I don't have too much I think that would be beneficial for... Okay. Um, there's a lot of spell options here. So, let's see. That could actually be really beneficial, so let's grab that. Yeah, let's do that. That'll let us unlock stuff. And the feet. Does he have... He doesn't really use any element in particular, so... Is that better? Um, lucky maybe? What's this? That can be good. Let's just do this for him, um, and then... Sure. Because that's gonna, like, massively boost his damage.
I'm just going to keep that. Okay, and then him. Um, I want to make him lucky. I think. What's that? I think I'm still gonna go with Lucky. Can't trip. I'm gonna put True Strike on him. Okay, so what would be a good one for him? Something for defensive-ish. Actually be pretty good actually I'm gonna give him alert I feel like he'd have alert anyways you having fun I fix that for you okay here we go oh they didn't heal I was hoping they would heal looking ahead
Swift as my feet can carry me. We have to rest. There's no way we cannot rest. Our health is too low. We have, like, we've lost some spell slots. I need to learn to, like, use my spell slots more, though. I think. I think that's probably the big thing, is that I don't use my spell slots as much as I could be. <laughs> I'm gonna try talking to everybody really quick, though, and see if they have anything new to say. Very well. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Fine. What's on your mind? I'm just saying, not a whole lot. Yeah, not a lot happened yet. I hope you're keeping well, friend. The puppy. We're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Oh, hang on, guys. I'm gonna try picking him up and see if he comes. As soon as I pick them up, and if I'm right, keyboard should not be working. Good. Tell me about your Why history. Why do you insist <laughs> on exhuming the past? I was a slave, a vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was you unable watch to resist the commands, but now. I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Mm-hmm. You wanna watch? Here. Spin the baby! Monster Hunter was looking for you. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some knolls while stumbling around at night, and that's the last we hear from him. Why was he hunting you? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. Who is Cazador? Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The Patriarch of his coven, and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Are you sure Kazador is behind this? It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the girl after me. It was a group of girl that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. So, 
saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? <laughs> well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. And now he sends a girl monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere. What do you want? Reach me. What are you trying he to get? Me back. The kitty? The hat? Hi. No, not the mic. <laughs> Everybody doesn't need to hear you chewing on the mic. Okay? Okay. Okay. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. Safe with me. Safe? You think I'm safe? What? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Can he do that? Cause like I thought vampires had to be invited. Unless it can't doesn't count. Probably not. He has to rest in his crypt during the day. Okay. I've never known him to. So not because he wouldn't be invited, but. But he has no end of lackeys. He'll send someone else in his place. We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about. You want to play the keyboard? That and you can do. Any monster Go nuts. In sight. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. How does somebody become a vampire? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. So I bet we're gonna have a chance to have Asterion drink Casador's blood. You don't need the mic. He's like, but I want it. Right? In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's what not. The biggest threat to food? a vampire <laughs> is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. Okay. Um, I thought vampires couldn't walk into homes without an invitation. We can't. And yet I cross the threshold like moonlight through leaves. This worm is a powerful little beast, isn't it? That's what worries me. Oh, don't be so glum. Look at the power it's bringing us. I can walk in sunlight, trespass upon any home, manipulate minds. There isn't another vampire in the realms like me. Granted, the looming doom is an issue, but why not enjoy the benefits while we can? What do you, what I've already that? apologized. That's not what I meant to button, but that's okay. Unless you're looking for another nibble. I need to know how we'll feed you in the future. Not the no way you'd word it, but making use of it rather than denying it would be more beneficial. Only villains that we need to I go plan anywhere. to explore that probably with my warlock. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with my warlock all would be my the one weapons. Do it. Teeth. Included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Okay.
All right, but I'll be watching. Excellent. Now, shall we go? I'm already feeling a little peckish. Hey, what do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. When he actually says it that way, I get why he'd risk um, keeping the tadpole. You're trading one master for another, you'll be a slave either way. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know Casador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. We talked to everybody. Speak. Nothing now. Well met. Nothing new. You done? Or you want more? What's on your mind? Nothing new. Okay. Uh, sometimes new stuff comes up once you go to sleep. Though, so. You must be. Yeah, we got a couple of things to say. She has nothing. There you are, my friend. <laughs> are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. You seem happy, no need to drink humanoid blood then? You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either, but they're not the same. But Casador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. You're done? Thank you. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. You sound very sure. Well, look at us. We've never been more powerful. And being able to walk in the sunlight opens a lot of doors for me. Maybe some coffins, too. <laughs> no. These tadpoles are a gift I intend to use to the fullest. You should do the same. Okay. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Surprisingly fine in spite of it all. <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I felt hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. 
The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've shown no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. There's something special about us, or at least our tadpoles. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Um. I don't think he's going to say anything now, but... What's on your mind? Why is it 49 out of Alright. I do think it's weird that you can do that like in the middle of a dangerous area, but hey. See if the Booyak had anything good on her. <laughs> Not really. I was hoping for more, to be honest. Ooh, there is a key. Somebody's excited to be in this bouncer. There we go. Look, they're gonna hack to attack me at some point. Oh, that one died. Oh, so did that one. <laughs> oh, 
Let's go. Nothing important is ever easy. Breathe deep and move. Pawn to Cleric 4. Coming through. They can't see anything. Let's spill some blood. Stop me yet. Here we go. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. Traps, please. How do we get rid of this bike? Oh, there we go. There's gotta be a way to get rid of them. Figure out how to get these two down. Okay, wait, hang on, I know. Let me about my magic. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What to do? These boots have seen everything. You sniffing, uh -oh. you ain't ought to be friend. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. It's gonna be a mistake, but goblins are evil. Coming through. <clears throat> Time for cull. Let's do it. 
do it. Oh, wow, I actually hit him from there, too. Victory is assured. Um... That was quick. All right. What now? Hmm. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Let's check out this house. Fandalverse uh, Pax has brought prosperity to this land, splitting the wonders of Wave Echo Cave between gnomes and dwarves. The town now boasts thriving communities of both peoples living and working together in harmony. Mayor Alder, we've invited you to come and witness this miracle yourself. See the powers being uncovered in the forge spells and the prosperity this power brings. I dare say Neverwinter will soon have a new rival for the title of Jewel of the North. Yeah? Let's have a look. If I do, the ledger is full of cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver specially requested plants to the cellar. Keep away from prying eyes. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. Yeah? Extracts the rule of three. Okay. But I mean, we didn't need anything to tell us that. We've got this here. I don't need rotten food. Something over there. Lever over there. Uh, 
Uh, Malady Gout became accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Large wood splinter in hand. Splinter removed when cleaning dust and balsam ointment. Followed a bottle cork. No hardness or blockage. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave a lot of stern warning. I wouldn't want to pass a cork. Minor burns to face and hands. Another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice. Usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace. Salt of Rogue Mersal, Suspension of Murgrath. Oh, I need to make sure I do the speech with him. I'm taking everything so I can make more potions and stuff if we need to. Mm. Alright, let's see what's over here. Alright guys, hold tight. I'm gonna do a little flag stretch and then I will be right back and we'll play a bit more. <laughs> 